All right, you guys ready? Yeah, I, I, are we here? I don't know. Let's go. Oh, let's, let's, let's run it. I'm, I'm always here. Sebastian's just eating his food on the shadows. Shadow I'm in the shadows, bro. Uh, all right, time for some the shadows. darkness. All right, what's up, YouTube? M. Cole Friday here. Oh. <laughs> Giving you guys one hell of a duel, I guess. I don't know. Do you say so? I don't know what else to I mean, really say. It's uh, John Roach against not Tommy Rowe. Who is in fact Tommy Rowe? Do not let it confuse you. <laughs> All right. So I guess these duels can begin. Oh, Savage Scissors over Paper there. If he's playing Monarch, it's a lot better for him. <laughs> I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll look at the extra decks. Yeah. That's how you'll know. Hey, he could be playing that Mega Zaborg nonsense. Alright, so we are seeing an extra deck from both players. There is 15. Thank you for that <laughs> analysis. <laughs> Expert commentary here for you guys. 41 cards for Mr. John Roach, though. Yes, sir. 40 wasn't enough. Nah, man. We need that one more to put you over the top. Yeah. 41st card is the card he needed the most. I think so. That's sub. Let's. Oh, Twitch chat saying activate up start goblin. <laughs> Let's see what we've got coming here. Oh yeah, Tommy, boy, Tommy Rose starting us off. Hopefully, sometime soon. So the streams laggy right now. It's uh, someone's not playing their cards. <laughs> hey, looks like we've been getting some followers today too. Thanks for all the followers, guys. Oh, there you go. Skull Joker. Activates the effect. Let's see. Does it get the monkey man? Oh, he's getting the turtle. Oh, he's already got good cards. Hit us with that degeneracy. There you go. There's wow. the turtle monkey. He's got really good cards. That's pretty good cards. Put that man with the draw one so far. Hey, that's that's my favorite combo, no doubt. Like if I have sorcerer in hand too. Oh man. He could still go for the draw two play this turn. It's pretty sassy. See, the thing is, if I go for like, if I ever want to go for a wizard draw uh, after I've already used Gaturtle, it I feel so, like that feels so wrong because the Gaturtle can give me the draw too. But I'm going for draw one. You no. Know? That was really deep. <laughs> Very deep, thank you. Once again, expert analysis. Don't mind me just sitting here waiting for this deck search. <laughs> Silver Claw. I love Silver Claw. Thanks, Joe. Expert commentary. <laughs> okay, okay, thanks. Oh, when it's Robbie starts doing it, it's too much. I understand. Pendulum Summon 4, wow. Oh, it was the wizard. And the plushie. Wow. Two wizards. Ooh. Wizard pop plush and uh, monkey right. man? No, he can pop himself. Let's see. Oh, he pops monkey in that. Okay. So he gets the one special. Gets to search. And gets another monkey man for next turn. You know, what is kind of crazy is he's playing 40 cards, Silver Claw, and a Performage Engine. I wonder what he had to cut to get that in there. Yeah, I wonder what like that one card they cut to not push over forty, but to still play the uh, like the maybe he doesn't play any traps. Maybe no traps or maybe a cut on a hand trap. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna see Infinity Nightmare here. Unless he has like a gigabyte in his hand, then we could see Infinity Nightmare or Felsia. He could not bring gigabyte. That's definitely one of the things he could have cut. That that's another thing. Yeah. Gigabyte's one of those cards that a lot of the community doesn't really 
like. Some of them do, some of them don't, but it's usually one of the first cuts. Yeah, like it's it's not a necessary card. It's kind of like Trick Clown. A lot of people like they hate Trick Clown. Uh, it's definitely not a necessary card. So then, then we see the hat trigger come out there. What were we saying? Whoa, about traps? and a set one. Could be wavering eyes. So don't don't, don't get ahead of yourself, Robin. We don't know. This is pretty disgusting for the mirror, though. Assuming that this is the mirror. Yeah, you kind of just assume it's the mirror nowadays, especially in like a tournament. I don't even think we've mentioned that. Yeah, they're playing for the Zodiac round one feature. Well, a Zodiac round one feature. One of many. Yeah, but this field is, it's, this, this is the deck, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna watch this and be all, all like, "Wow, real, real interesting duel!" Because because this is an amazing field. But that that was an amazing play. Decks that can do that, it's insane. The fact that he opened up super well helps too. Yeah, you know he he did offer uh, open up amazing. He he has access to do things the next turn as well. Did not use all, all of his resources to do this. And the fact that this scroll crabat just kind of gets to resolve here, and he can start building his play. Well, the thing, especially in the mirror match, using uh, the infinity wisely is it's the most important thing. It's like when you're just gonna make infinity blind like that, you have to know when to use it. And since there's so many potential plays in the mirror match, you have to know which one's the most crucial. Well, I mainly make the con or comment because he's got three cards in hand, and we could very well see a hand trap from him. Well, we know two of them. Hey, man, I've I've seen crazy stuff out of the right field. Yeah, yeah, that that third card could be a it could be a hand trap for sure. Oh, good turtle here. Going to make an attempt to get something negated, I assume. No, he's gonna let him go. The thing is, uh, having like nightmare. The the thing with letting that go, it's it's kind of odd letting the turtle go through. It's kind of odd though because, uh, he with nightmare there, he would need a lot more things that uh to do to get over infinity, as compared to if he would have negated the monkey board or the turtle. Oh, well, most likely the monkey board. Uh, it's less likely because he can draw into a dark hole or a geki or something to force it. And as we've talked about before, those cards are getting a lot of momentum in the current format. Yeah. And just as main decked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, like, with the existence of Monarchs now, uh, playing Regeki or Dark Colt, it becomes another out to, like, a well-established Monarch field if they don't have the the card that makes them indestructible by, from card effects. I think it's March of the Monarchs, but I don't want to be wrong on that, so. I think it's March. You can look it up later. So Roche has to do two things to ne uh, eat the negation on this board? Yeah, well, he has to do a lot more with the Evil Swarm Nightmare there. I think he was still, you know, waiting on Tommy's response. I generally on DN, if you wait like 20 seconds, you're, you're pretty good. Yeah, but this is a feature. I can understand them wanting to be a little bit... Yeah, no confusions. Don't want to have any mess ups here. Ooh, that's really good. That'll help him a lot, actually. If this goes and he can resolve an Ignister per se, he can just go battle phase attack over. Uh... Infinity, if the nightmare doesn't no. flip it down, right? Uh, there's a there's a nightmare. Oh, how would he? Yeah, he was one nightmare. It's just gonna shut off all of his plays. Yeah. Nightmare's not once per turn, is it? Nope. It's even no. better. Yeah, if there was a maxi in his hand, we would have seen it come down there.
But now the question for Tommy becomes, well, depending on what he hits, is do you nightmare that or do you wait for the Ignister? You know, it's kind of interesting to see him going for Master there because even if he if he does go for a Luster, he can still make Ignister to get it back into his extra deck. Uh, I don't think he's going for the Ignister play. I have a feeling I know what he's going for. I I, th I think I know oh uh, as well. But the thing is, is he still has access to to both uh, to both potential plays. I don't know if they're watching, so I don't want to say. Oh well, well he, vector, he gets Vector anyway, so it doesn't really change much. But he could have used up the Nightmare. Or forced Nightmare. At least the first time. So yeah, he's gonna... Uh, the play that I thought he was gonna do that he just sh uh, that he just shot off was... I thought he was gonna go for uh, Rafelzia to force Infinity and Treacherous his board. Yeah. Exactly. I mean that's a that's a pretty strong board to deal with. Yeah, definitely. That that's definitely really hard to deal with. If uh, oddly enough, if uh, John if John Roach played Part Naga, that would, that would be a really good out to this. Double wavering would uh, be pretty sick, disgusting here too. Well, if he if he had wavering, I'm. Wait, he's, he's probably trying to force that set card that he assumes is a wavering, because you always assume it's a wavering. Uh, it's either, my guess is it's either wavering or treacherous, and, uh, like, you have to force that from your opponent here. Try to, at least. Oh, he's just penduluming three. Just gonna throw up his board here. Thanks for that follow. TCB Crasher Twelve joins the party. Yeah, somebody in the Twitch chat said a chalice could do work. Ooh, I'm I, I'm really surprised that he didn't hold that juggler. He could have another. Yeah, somebody said Chalice could do work here. Chalice definitely would have done work here, but that's definitely a side deck card as compared to a main deck card. So is he passing the timing on the Nightmare here? No, 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 it was because uh, it's on summon, so the chain link is still the same. Like for example, uh, he could sorcerers. infinity at uh, sorcerer's effect is on summon. So for example, he could infinity and then chain nightmare. Uh, like in another instance, you could break through skill and then still chain torrential tribute. Yeah, like on a Deneb summon or something. Yeah, so so that's what he could be doing here. And with three other cards in hand, uh, yeah, yeah, that's something he definitely does have to think about this and. Because if the hat I trigger, don't think that's no. Go ahead. Well, if he detonates the hat trigger here and lets it resolve off the infinity, then we're gonna see an X Y Z come out either way. You know what I mean? You mean the juggler? Yeah, the juggler. My bad. Uh, yeah. If he well, I I feel like he has to nightmare at least. But you have to think about it as if this is what you're gonna infinity or not. Ooh. Okay. So. So he's not going to negate it. We are going to see that set wavering eyes come down, which we assumed was a wavering. So we're on chain link three at the moment. Oh yeah, chain link one, chain link two, chain link three wavering. Now does does Roach have a wavering to combat that, or another juggler? If if you have the out, you have to play it. Like you, this is. This is a good wavering for sure, because he can make drug, uh, he can make sorcerer not resolve. Yeah, so sor uh, sorcerer is going to resolve with no effect here, as assuming he banishes the juggler.
I don't know why you wouldn't remove the juggler here. Yeah, I think removing the juggler is the best play. Yeah. Not much you can do to, to that board, unfortunately. Yeah, now it's, it's a real uphill battle for uh, for Roach, but he does have three cards in hand, and uh, all those cards are going to go to his extra deck when they're killed, so if he can like draw into a Joker or Monkey Board and potentially wait out Infinity, which is asking a lot, but going into four cards in hand, definitely a possibility. Given the current board state, though, just losing stuff here is going to suck, but it is what it is. I mean, it was a really... He had to open extremely well to be able to clear that board, especially with the wavering down. Yeah, the wavering... You have to assume it's a wavering, it. but, you know, them having it doesn't necessarily help. Yeah, yeah you assume it's a wavering, but does that mean you can play around it? it that, no, was, that was one really. of those situations where he could have played open-handed, and that it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, uh, the third level of protection for Infinity is usually what uh, can get you there to win, to make it unbreakable. So now, uh, we do we know if, if he has a Sorcerer or a Joker in hand? I assume that he has one or the other since he's searching the Wizard Draw to complete the Pendulum Summon. Ooh, Maxi. I believe he has one in extra. No, or did he use it for the uh, infinity? Uh, he used it for the infinity. Oh, negating the Maxi. Two. Oh, wow. I, that makes the most sense, though. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been scary to see like a ghost ogre come down on that infinity, but you didn't have it. But then again, actually, even if you had the ghost ogre, he got, that goes down to one card in hand. I feel like this game is just a whole lot of build your board and pray. But it's not so much praying. He uh, normally you don't infinity first turn going by, but he had infinity nightmare and wavering eyes. He, he if he was playing against like Monarch or even like Cosmo, potentially BA, it would have been a lot harder. But he he was fortunate to play the mirror in this case. Wow, Draco face off really good. Yeah, this this game is pretty much over here. Him getting the tails does not even matter. Yeah, it's such a shame. Yeah, but now, uh, Oh, getting the Ignister there would have been, oh, the Luster there to make Ignister would have been, would have been really good because it would have made like a bigger, better Pendulum Summon. But so now you have to think about here for him is uh, if he doesn't have game with what he can Pendulum Summon right now, if he should just Diamond Dire away one of the cards just to remove one since he knows he doesn't really have anything to worry about. So he can Pendulum Summon three and like remove the Nightmare, uh, to popping the Nightmare with Sorcerer. Actually, I didn't realize that we broke 1,100 followers. I don't know if today or yesterday, but that's awesome. I don't know. I saw that earlier. I didn't want to make a comment about it during the feature, but that's really cool. Thanks a lot, guys. We're definitely getting there. I've got to become the biggest and best. Like no one ever Yeah, was. so we are going to see the Diamond Dire. 
It did not even matter what he popped there. He probably didn't even know what he was popping. I mean, honestly, do you care? Yeah. You know, no, he, he knows that he has, like, nothing to worry about here. We know he doesn't have the de second juggler. Oh, wow. So he did have a sorcerer. Uh, he did. Wow. That's that's a really good sorcerer. Wow. I assume he's going to pop Plushy and Nightmare, or he's going to pop Plushy and Monkey. Because he has Hat Tricker in hand to still use. Just oh, he's just gonna pop. Maybe he has no more targets for uh, uh, Vendetta, but yeah. Vendetta. Um, a lot of people have been playing Diamond Dyer for the longest time, but it's not as relevant in the mirror as you would think. It's kind of just one of those hidden cards, though. Pretty much. Yeah, it's always doing the same. It's like a floodgate anti spell fragrance out. Floodgate out. Spot removal. Yeah, or if there's just like you know one back row, or for or if you need to bait something out, you usually go to the Diamond Dyer before you make your big play. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like if you're looking at one or even like two back row, and you ha you can make like Ignister or something. Uh, you you a Diamond Dyer pop the first one. Uh, it's like you know you're just taking like a fifty fifty shot to try and hit that card that's gonna stop you. But that's only some of the real time that it ever sees play. So then here we're pro what I think we're gonna see is hat tricker come down for trapeze. Unless he has access to master in his hand or grave, which I don't know if he does. So with Dinoster, because Dinoster would make him even better. Dinoster's what, two thousand buddy? Yeah. Two thousand twenty nine fifty. Okay, so making that's definitely not a horrible well, idea here. With Trapeze here, it's game. Uh, over with the uh, Ignister. And that was the master that he just shuffled back. I believe you are correct when you say that he is going to make a uh, trapeze here. Yeah. This is game through, like, I think one drug or two, so. Oh, a second Ignister Law. I mean, no, wait, make where does that. Oh, where, yeah, where, he can. Yeah, yeah, where did that yeah. Ignister come from? If it was off the other Ignister, the most you could make is a uh, Dinoster or a Magister. Or a Magister, yeah. Yeah, I, I tend to forget that a lot too. Uh, that off the any of the Draco Sway or, or cards, like the extra deck ones, they can't summon. The monster that they summon cannot be used for the same type of summon as that one that's why shitty magister is kind of okay no that's my problem with magister use two pendulum cards to, uh, for it you know you're usually gonna use a slayer card I don't know I'm not a fan of that card yes yeah, so that's game that was a pretty long game the, one the, the, uh, on both sides, they both had a lot to think about uh, making that board. Like, making a board like that is never, like, straightforward. You're never just like, oh, activate, activate, Pendulum Summon 5, just over it. Like, it, it, you never open a hand like that. And, uh, and then on John Roach's idea, they think about, uh, like, how, how can I beat this? And how do I beat that set card? Yeah, it was essentially, I need to bait the Infinity. Yeah. I need to somehow take care of the Nightmare. Like he had a lot to think about, but I mean Tommy was was playing correctly. Yeah, you know, not just negating silly cards that he knew weren't going to do anything.
I would say that game was probably uh, a very high in skill level from both players. Uh, both the ways that they played it, it just Roach could not break the board. So what this is going to come down to is just a battle of Psychotic Castle. Uh, I assume that Roach is starting here as well because uh, he wants to make sure that he can break that board, make sure that his opponent doesn't have a real controlling lead on him. And I definitely think that, depending how this game goes, we could go to game three, but if not, this is going to be the match ender. So, hope for the best here, Roach, if you intend to win. Uh, if not, then kudos to you. I mean, there are going to probably only be two to three turns. If it goes into a grind game, it might be a little bit more entertaining to watch. But, uh, I mean, the couple turns that you do see are really uh, thought-provoking. Since we haven't yet, I'm going to go ahead and give the shout-out to TrollandToad.com for giving us the sponsorship for the tournament, for the uh, for the stream, all of our prize support. Go check out TrollandToad.com for gaming everything. Yes, gaming everything. So, no, we're just going to see a set two here on um, Roach. That's kind of rough. I mean, they could be Solemns. Well, the thing with the set two that I've warned uh, in playing the mirror is usually when you set two, it's because you don't have this amazing field that you can make, uh, and you're just going to try and see if your opponent can just beat through uh, whatever you have. You're setting live cards every time, unless you just brick horribly. Uh, you, you, like you're setting live cards, it's like wavering, twin twisters, uh, bottomless time space treacherous, like all relevant cards, even solemns, even cited in potentially or main deck. Uh, yeah, so you're you're playing, you're, you're setting relevant cards, so you're making them still play through things. Solomon wavering would be really cool, but that would be crazy actually. <laughs> I mean, Roach didn't set scales, so the wavering's not going to be quite as good. Yeah, uh, Tommy would have been able to play around it with this hand anyway. I feel like every time I play Pepe, my opponent just opens better than me. Wow, he, that was really, really good. So he's going to be able to remove one of those potentially with Ignister, assumably with Ignister. And then and Ignister's going to be able to summon either a Master or another Luster here. My first thought would be to Luster, not knowing the other cards in his hand. Yeah, I mean, worst comes to worst, you get your, your guy just popped, you know? Yeah. Yeah, if you get wavering eyes here, you're not really you're not losing much. Yeah, that's why I was kind of shocked that Roach didn't place a scale, but it's definitely a good. Well, for him, well, wavering eyes for three against him would would be really bad because then both of these cards would be gone. So we are going to see a luster come down. So he's one hundred percent going to have access to make another one. Oh, he's just going to let it go through. Oh. So if he has a solemn meter, that would, that would be pretty good. Otherwise, it looks like it could be game. No, it, it would be game. Uh, pendulum four. Yeah, we, we knew he. Yeah, we knew he had all those. They're all just straight from the extra deck, which is disgusting. Yeah, that makes it even better. Yeah, so then this is game right here. Gotta love this format. And my assumption here that uh, that he as Joe just dies. Yep, Joe died, which means our Skype call died, which means you guys are going to have to be patient while we recover it. I can at least say that much. 
But holding down the rest of the fort here while they're on DC land. Um, looking at this board, though, a roach, unless he's got double damage juggler or something, uh, might be able to survive through the turn. But this game state is disgusting. Uh, 2850, 2850 on the four. This isn't a trapeze, at least, so we good, fam. But coming through the rest of this turn, though, Magister, Magister Special Summon from Extra, They're getting another Luster, I assume, to make just GG on board. Yep. It all comes down to if Roach is... Oh, he's making Dynaster here. Why? I don't agree with that, but I, I guess... Yeah, you get to bring back the Master. That is true. Is this game? I assume no. Damage juggler. Wow, Roach ended up losing. GG Tommy Row uh, for winning that. Um, like I said, <laughs> kind of sucks when you play against Pepe because it always seems like they always open up infinitely better than you. Wow, Ghost Ogre damage juggler. Double damage juggler. Wow, uh, Tommy Rowe just infinitely had better cards than his opponent. Well, kudos to that feature match. Um, beginning another one here shortly.